Hi, it's Chris with Show Up Academy. Today we're going to go over what I feel is the best shoulder exercise. Now you can ask 10 other people, they can give you 10 other suggestions, but this is what I feel is best for optimal recruitment. Now this is also a taboo exercise because not everyone should be doing this. Before you do a behind the neck press, you've got to go through a quick little shoulder screen. So the first thing you're going to do is see if you can touch your hands behind your back. If you can, without a lot of thoracic extension, you're cleared in that regard. Let's do shoulder flexion. I pass both of these screens. I don't flare forward. Shoulder extension. Should be about 60 to 70 degrees without leaning forward and pushing my arm, my glenohumeral joint forward. And last but not least is going to be if I can horizontally 80 up to about 30 degrees. So if you can pass those simple tests, behind the neck shoulder pressing is an awesome exercise. What I hate is when people don't have optimal shoulder mobility, they do it with the same weight that they do a military press with in the front, and they hurt themselves and then say this is a terrible exercise. The exercise is interdependent on the individual. So I love it, I do it all the time, I have pretty good shoulder health. We're gonna go nice and wide, put it on your upper trap, wide, squeeze your glutes, pressing up. Always need to ask, why are you doing a certain exercise? If you have shoulder pain, the general three rules of thumb that I have, stay below the neck, so don't <laughs> do this. Avoid any transverse plane of motion and anything that's gonna cause you pain. So this is my favorite shoulder exercise, behind the neck military press.